Scare Bee Builder here. Today I wanted to go over making a honey bucket. Um, now it seems pretty simple, but sometimes when, um, when you don't know what you're doing, it can be kind of um, intimidating, and so I just wanted to make a quick video on it. Um, to start out, you're just going to want a uh, regular size bucket. This is like a five gallon bucket. It's the ones I like to use. Um, it's best if it is a food grade bucket. Um, and you're going to want a honey gate. Now this is a honey gate, and you just buy this at, um, you can get it on Amazon, you can get it on eBay or wherever, or your local bee, uh, bee store. Um, here it has this little nut and a little door that you can open and shut where the honey can come out and uh, drain into bottles easily without a lot of mess. Um, so on the back of it, it's got this, I'll let you see, it's got this O-ring around it with these uh, threads on it. And it comes with a threaded uh, nut to go on it and that just tightens down um, and it doesn't have to be really tight. Um, but it's a pretty simple setup and it works really well. So with that, um, how I like to do it is I will actually set it up on the bucket and just trace it with the marker. You're going to want the circle that you trace on the bucket to be about two centimeters above the very edge of the bucket. That'll give you enough room on the inside to tighten down the bolt. Get a Sharpie marker and without the nut on it, I will go ahead and trace the outside edge. of my gate onto the bucket. And then you'll see I've got a circle on my bucket to cut out. Now there's a few different ways that you can actually cut the hole out and you can just use a razor blade. Um, but as you can see here, I tried to illustrate it on here. It's really difficult to cut it out. It's actually pretty thick plastic, most of these buckets are. And um, so to try to get a nice clean round hole on it, it can be a difficult thing to do, especially with a razor blade. So I wanted to, to show you a way that I do it that's a little bit easier. One way I like to use is just using a regular drill. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and make a pilot hole through here. And then once it's in there, I'm just gonna run it around the edge of the circle to give it a nice clean edge. At this point, you can actually use your razor blade to just kind of clean up the edges. Okay, once you have the hole cleaned out, you just get your honey gate and you'll just insert it into the hole. Because we traced it out, it's gonna fit really well. Um, just make sure it's all the way in there. You can make sure that that little rubber seal is on there well and that the bottom of the honey gate is facing down. Um, once you have that in there, you'll get your little nut that came with it and just reach in on the inside and tighten it down. You can see right here on the inside, the threads have just come through the, the bottom of the bucket and you can just screw on the nut. Now when you tighten this down, there's really no need to tighten it any harder than hand tight. Another option you can use for making the hole in the bucket is actually a soldering pin. Um, now this is just something, it's really inexpensive, um, but it will just kind of melt the hole in it. Um, and that makes it quick and easy to uh, make a hole without um, using any sharp objects. And there you have it, there's your honey bucket. Now it's nice to know this because you don't have to go buy a real expensive bucket that they have at the store that's already put together because it's really simple um, to do yourself. So the honey gates really are about five bucks online. Um, it's not a big expense and it's easy to put together. So I hope this was helpful and this is the Backyard Bee Builder. See you next time.